go. I am Brandon Lover. I am Brandon. We're live. I am We're doing this live. Hi, I'm Brandon Lover as well. Who are you? I'm Brandon Lover. I'm, uh, I'm Dustin Courier. Pat Delahanty. And we are interviewing the Felix Culpa. <laughs> you might know this man as Bruce Salmon's kid. Bruce Salmon. <laughs> So, how did you guys become a band? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. How was Midwest Fest for you guys? Middle West. Middle, Middle, Middle West. West. Middle West. Middle West. How was it? It's good. Yeah, these Copa guys are stupid. <laughs> it was delicious. It was great. It was Middle delicious. West Fest was yeah, great. It was, it was, it was awesome. amazing. Uh, John Ugolini has again cemented himself as one of my favorite uh, Midwest promoters. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job with this festival. I don't think I could be any happier. Okay. He can pay us a million dollars. I think it's been a 100% positive <laughs> experience for everybody. You guys recently went and saw POS? Yes. It was, it was, big fan yeah, it was like 10, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes recently. ago. Just recently. 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 It was recently. unreal. Yeah? Yeah. And Have you guys seen any of the bands that you were like... Russian Circles blew my Russian mind. Russian Circles was fantastic. Um, I caught the end of Geronimo's set. I actually wanted to try and catch their whole set, but uh, I didn't realize that POS was ending just before they ended. Oh, just, really? just saw Native. Native was very loud. Yeah, yeah, it is awesome. Yeah. Very cool. You guys are uh, an hour encompassing. Oh, and, and, and uh, congratulations on uh, the new uh, on the, what the new record, record deal. deal. <laughs> with, uh, two. No, it's just like the records. Yeah, very cool. And yes. when can we expect the uh, re-release? Re- uh, release will be what? November. November. Yeah, we've we've Yeah, they're gonna release our album seven seven roots. Seven roots. Seven roots. Happy Thanksgiving. With a couple of. You guys are going to do that interview with us still, right? When the re release Oh, yeah, absolutely. We will commentary? have them. Commentary. Oh, yeah. Full album commentary. Full album. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a good time. We should bring Jared. Uh, to commemorate the re release. should bring Jared. Have him So, um, other than Midwest Festival, what, uh, what are some other things that are going on right now, guys? I'm going to be driving a van later. Sure. I thought um, I was going to. We actually uh, we have thought, plans. Uh, we have plans to put out um, another release at the beginning of the year, and, you know, a split release, possibly, because it's what is shaping up to be with another band that uh, won't we'll say yes. Say. <laughs> um, but they're not Joie de Vie. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> and uh, the front man of the band is one of the cuddliest people in the world, let me tell you that. So, it is so if you don't know who it is, right yeah. off the bat, you're an idiot. <laughs> um, and, well, we're uh, recording in October. Yeah, we're That's recording exciting. in October uh, for, for the re-release, and then we'll be recording shortly thereafter for uh, this other release that will be at the beginning of 2011. And then the plan is, by the end of 2011, to have a, another full release. So that's kind of the plan. We've been writing it for as many as around. Uh, by, by the end of 2011? That's kind of the plan. That's, uh, it is? That's, <laughs> that's, that's what... Uh, that's, I'd say so. That's what No Sleep has in our contract. <laughs> yeah. See? So we better do it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we love No Sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, that's uh, very awesome. That's uh, that very exciting, actually. Uh, yeah, we've been, been a band for, what, seven years? And uh, actually just signed a record contract for the first time last night. Well, well yeah. No, I actually. <laughs> but no, it's, it's going to be nice. Uh, I mean, it'll just be cool. I mean, uh, it's it's been interesting doing the whole like you know when we release this album ourselves and we've got to kind of you know reap all of the benefits but we've sort of gotten as far as we can with all of our contacts right. and, uh, plateaued I guess yeah. yeah and so I mean well, having even... crazy I mean we're gonna have global distribution all of a sudden that's nuts uh, right yeah I'm I'm pretty stoked about the the other bands will be uh, siblings with on the label too uh, that's uh, into it over it. Balance and composure. Balance and composure. Balance. Uh, is Koji on our sleeve? Yes, he is. He's super nice, and his music is really pretty. Yeah, actually, we did we did a thing with Koji, and Koji honestly was like, yeah. uh, was it an interview? Hi, any, uh, yes, it was. It was actually it was actually a, a duo interview with uh, <laughs> Into It Over It and Koji. We did a thing. We did this thing with Koji and Into It Over. I don't want to miss the detail, but no. But I mean, on a on a solo release by your guys self, it's been completely blown. I mean, as far as like, You've been floored by the reception of this album. Like, I don't think any of us would have ever expected or anticipated that the type of song to be And it's been really great because it's a lot of, I mean, there have been uh, tours with bands that we never would have, you know, thought we would have been able to tour with. All sorts of great stuff has happened this year, and it's kind of just coming out through the doors for us to be able to do all this stuff that we didn't really think we were going to be able to. We honestly didn't know if we were going to be a band. We were 
decided to finish up the album and put it out this year. It's not going to be like, let's see what happens. It's been, it's been great. So, yeah. A question I've always wanted to ask you guys. There with, are four of us. Yeah. <laughs> well, four questions I've always wanted to ask you guys. With, since starting in music, Come on. and like two steps back to the Pulpa, to, you know, yeah, and Pulpa. Magnum Opus and all that, what is one piece of advice you would have given yourselves back then? to now as far as being musicians and like striving for you know, whatever you're going through. Like honestly, what is, I mean, what is one thing you wish you would have known Stop started? Stop doing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, I don't know. Uh, wow, that's, a, that's, that's probably question. the best so That requires a lot of thought. Yeah. We can, do here, I'm going to go do a lap while they answer this one. <laughs> do you have the battery for us to be able to sit and think about this? Um, wow, I honestly don't know. Uh, Get better gear. <laughs> Uh, yes, no, uh, really honestly, no. I, back then, though, oh, back I, I, I was playing a great say, the only thing, I remember. That's true. <laughs> the only thing that I could really tell myself, uh, like me, present me, talking to past me, with the is, uh, oh yeah, with a mohawk, <laughs> or without, uh, with the band moves, uh, is uh, just, I mean, keep doing it. I mean, like, I, I love where things have gone with this band. I love the people that I've met and the tours we've done and the music we've written together. And uh, I don't, I don't think, I mean. I think I could ask for anything else. Like, if I knew back then that like this is where I was gonna be today, I would be such a happy like nine year old or whatever I was when I had a mohawk. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's 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 really I just tell myself to keep. I actually the first time I ever met you was at Felix Call the Show. You were taking photos for him and then cut. Joel, you can come over here and get in this interview. It is your band, by the way. Okay, now you gotta leave. Hey, <laughs> This is Joel, the drummer from Felix Skull. Hello, go. Nice to meet you. Who is this? It's Sparks. Marky? Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Joel. I don't know. I, You're I, the only one who introduced yourself. Oh, really? You taped this half. You taped this half. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd say maybe uh, I would dissuade uh, past me from a lot of the indecision that kept us yeah. from doing a lot of things because I was uh, like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. So, and that kept the band as a whole. Yeah, that would probably be fine. Now you, Joel. What's what, 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 would, what would now... Just guess what the question Joel, is and yeah. answer it. What would say to... Two steps back. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, play space. Like that. <laughs> that was actually That's Dustin's response. Get better gear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> You're really uncomfortable. <laughs> Get better quicker. Yeah, get better quicker. Oh, I would say, hey, guess what? I ripped you off in a newer Pumpa song. <laughs> I ripped off one of my long beats in Spaceville. No, um... I remember yelling that at the Two Steps Back reunion show, like, nine times, and Marky just kept going, no, it's not happening. It, it was a reunion show. reunion show? It wasn't a reunion yeah. show because I it played bass. Still, it was still us, and the, the rest of the band was there. It was just Tristan just playing bass. It was well, a retirement band. Oh, retirement show. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we, 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 we didn't want people um, calling out songs anymore. Was that, the, so, <laughs> was that a different show than the basement show where our friends in Leviathan played, or was it the same night? That uh, was no. the same night. It wasn't oh, the same no, night? Oh, you yeah. Space Girl that night. We played everything. You did play Space, you did play Space Girl, all. but I... Yeah. Wait, you have a song on Space Girl? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't anymore. I didn't actually give you... I did, actually didn't give I mean, you a call for not MVP playing. Yes. <laughs> I, did, I didn't give you grief for not playing in the Space Girl. I'm pretty sure we still had a lot of this coffee. Well, no, no. I know you said that. Like, the old call for show. You're not here. Be quiet. You like one. Where's your I still have one from when I was like 14. Awesome. You good? Take your time. I actually have the Two Steps Back uh, CD in my car right now. You're right so now? Oh crap. You are so no, I'm, I'm not even li well, not here, but at You home. said here! Well, not here. Ah, it's you're fine. Why is it in your car? You said it was in Because car I actually, car Justin <laughs> actually, our uh, friend Justin Whipple actually had a copy of it. That's he not handed a real to me. person. Yeah, he's not real. He's very make believe. But um, he handed it to me in a dream and uh, it ended up in my car. No, but he actually did have a copy of it and he gave it to me and I. Uh, you know, you're just like rocking it every day. Every day. <laughs> Actually, the song that I ripped off. Bring it back. So, um, we can expect you guys again in October, and November for uh, oh, the yeah, re-release. Joel still needs to know about this. Yeah, Joel. I mean, we've talked about it in the past. What? Um, you're gonna come on Sock Monkey Sound. We're gonna do the re-release. We're gonna listen to the entire album front to back, do commentary over all of it. After you oh, get drunk. After you get drunk. And Jared, Jared's gonna be there. Jared's gonna be there. Oh man. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is the lowest be, rated show dude, ever. No, it'll be the highest rated show ever. Jared can pull some ratings. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, I got thanks, no, guys. I got no better back. And, uh, and actually, before... Wait, before. wait, wait, wait. I have a question for you guys now. All right. <laughs> so, uh, how's it been going with Sock Monkey? Is it going good, guys? It's been, it's been going great, good. actually. It's been, uh, you know, really, you know... A lot of good interviews lately. A lot of good ones. Do you have anything you want to tell anybody? Consider this one probably sitting down. This is the day to bring people away from. That's pretty cool. And not as cool as this. That's ridiculous. Well, me and Dustin are now in a relationship. I want to tell uh, your girlfriend that this is the best way possible. Have you ever been filmed, interviewed while giving an interview? No. For a soundtrack? You're welcome. No. This is actually a first for all of us involved. Uh, you're, your phone's off. You're making this up. <laughs> Where can we find you guys if uh, we need to find you? Read the count. Yeah, right now we're still in the hell. I'm my phone number. Next yeah, I need actually all your guys' phone numbers on. Yeah. Say it out loud with the area code. No? <laughs> um, you mean like thefelixcompla.com? Yes. Yeah. Dial that. That Dial. pretty much gets you everywhere else. So. Yeah. 414. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, act like Wait, hold on. Free, really freeze important. frame. It's the end of this.